Texas flutists and teachers. I'm Dr. Melissa colgan Ablin, professor from the University of Texas at El Paso and selector for the All-State Flute Etudes for 2016-17. I hope you have accessed the online performance guides and updates for each etude. However, I want to go into more detail and give you my best advice for success. Let's learn to make practice smarter and fun. Start where you are. Perhaps you've heard that a journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. If you can play three notes, start there and turn the practice into a step-by-step -step process. Forward and smart. From now on, every day seize the opportunity to practice. Study your music without the flute. Prepare each etude by marking vertical lines, or smart sticks, on the downbeats, in pencil, of course, in case you make a mistake. This will provide a foundation for your learning the skeleton of the melody. I'm going to show you how. Work on bite-sized portions. Remember, three-note practice is smart. The metronome, tuner, and recording device must be your daily tools. Don't forget fundamentals. Athletes have strength training. Well, so do we with scales, long tones, and arpeggios. Practice in different ways. Mix it up because creative practice is more fun. So let's begin. For selection one, etude number three, I'd like to show you some exercises working with the skeleton and practice rhythms. In the first section, I'll use the quarter note skeleton and then I'll repeat it with the skeleton and the rhythm. Putting the metronome on 60, here we go. In the second section, I'm going to play the eighth note skeleton and then repeat with a two note group with two sixteenths and an eighth. third section, a three note group will, where we will drop the second note of each sixteenth note, followed by a four note group that splits between beat one and two.
Now I'm going to pull the metronome down to 52 so I can play the Latin rhythms, my favorites. You'll hear the rhythm. section that has all the chromatic scales, I'm going to continue with the Latin rhythm, but I'm going to put the 16th notes at the front, so you have to really think about the last two notes of each 16th note group. Okay, and then for the last group, starting at bar 53, I'm going to use a dotted eighth and sixteenth note over two notes, and then followed by two more sets of practice rhythms. But I'm going to move the tempo back up to 60. Glad I remembered that. This is a much more fun way to practice, and it really helps you learn the notes, and sometimes learn what to put between the notes. I think it's very important to employ triplets. So the eighth note and sixteenth triplet, like we did in the earlier section, let's work on that now. Da da ga 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 da ga. So if you start the triplet sixteenth note with da, da ga da, you're going to land on the downbeat with ga. reverse the rhythm. Now in the chromatic um, stream section, let's work on a fun rhythm, I think which is four eighth notes followed by four sixteenth notes, and then it's reverse. Now, that 
may be too difficult. So you might want to do it twice as slow. And then, the next part of that, but from bar 45, let's do the reverse. Continuing with the double tonguing, we can use that dotted quarter, I mean dotted eighth and sixteenth note, and subdivide it to work on a, that rhythm and our back and forth dugga 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 scale. And then the reverse of that is a dotted a sixteenth note followed by a dotted eighth note. So we'll subdivide that. Take your time, but work maybe from the backwards, forward, in sections. Then from bar 43. And then take a break before starting a few lines before that. But work from the backwards and it will help you strengthen all of the A2. Thanks.